Good morning, folks. We're watching a brief uptick at Turrialba a few days ago. It was likely the answer to the southern Mexico blood echo not long beforehand. Today we begin with space weather, but go the opposite way of yesterday's news thereafter, with weather, giant waves, the core, and a little-known climate change pattern coming to the U.S. Let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding a relatively calm day on our star. Not really much to see other than the big, dark coronal hole beginning to turn. Solar flaring remains low as the sunspots on the disk can't decide whether to grow or decay, and the largest group is 100% split with almost no chance of umbral interaction. Solar wind was another story. The coronal hole stream indeed arrived last night, ramping speed over 700 kilometers per second and producing a geomagnetic storm, level one only and brief. It could reverberate today, but it's nothing to fear. We did have a dropout in quakes, expectedly due to that geomagnetic activity and the departure of the coronal hole from center disk. Now that next dark opening to the left appears to already be the northern opening returning to the disk. Really shows how squeezed the southern extension is. So speaking of quakes and other related matters, the tsunami animation from the 2011 Japan event is meant to show what happens on the opposite side of the Pacific. It is little known, but whether it's a 100-foot tsunami or just 10 centimeters, its signature pings around the sea and the opposite side of the ring of fire will almost always see a concentration-driven higher wave than the rest of its immediate neighbors. It takes anywhere from 6 to 12 hours for the tsunami to cross the Pacific, but usually the concentration opposite the quake is not what people are caring about. Well, actually, there are records of tsunamis causing damage at the epicenter and on the opposite side of the ring of fire, and I have to wonder if that happened with the 7.9 in Papua New Guinea on January 21st. While its tsunami was small, only the local tsunami is magnitude-driven. What happens on the other side of the ocean about eight hours later can be tremendous if the convergence of those waves all happens in one area, even if the initial tsunami was tiny. We'll clock it perfectly arriving in Pacifica, California, exact opposite spot of the ocean, exact time it takes to cross the sea. Folks, that wave that struck the restaurant 11 days ago might have been triggered from Papua New Guinea. Up next, we've got a study out of Japan claiming to have worked out the best candidates for the 5% of Earth's core not made of iron and nickel. They have some excellent candidates based on their experiments. My favorite is hydrogen. And now our top story. Folks, this isn't the first to blaze this trail, but it is now confirmed. A terrible drought event brought an end to Native American culture in the central states near the Mississippi from around 1400 to 1800, a period known as the Little Ice Age, when severe drought struck during the lowest solar activity of 11,000 years. For those who don't know the best long-term solar reconstruction from Usoskin, indeed, global warming is confined to that little period where we spiked higher than we had in 10 millennia, but... More importantly right now, the weakest solar activity occurred just before that. It lasted way longer than the other dips in activity, and it likely helped drive the Little Ice Age. And also, it confirmed Springer 2008, which said the same thing, only they did it from a computer model. When models actually match observations, pay attention. And yes, that was from Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Many are figuring out that the sun is going to sleep, even NASA. NOAA, the ESA, is pumping out the information. But what does it mean for our weather? Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, you've got a new Deeper Look episode out yesterday. We'll hopefully get your planetary geometry for February out today. We've got pressure and radar forecasts here, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.